It doesn't show that it's live yeah, on anybody YouTube here, yet. We're not on YouTube. We're, we're on, on we're on Twitch. We're on Robot Television. Oh. oh, we're on Robot Television. That's right. Okay. We well, are Robot you go, good job changing everything. Yeah, that's right. My Thank goodness. you. Yeah, he changed everything, and only the chair is broke. That's really yeah, that's yeah. Not yeah. That's not too bad. Pretty good success yeah. rate. It's not too bad. Yeah. Nobody's gonna listen to our podcast based on how popular the podcast we're ripping off is. No, but we, unlike them, have a sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're better. We're better. My brother, my brother, my brother, my sister. My brother, yeah, my brother and me duck, and my duck, sister. duck, goots. <laughs> Thunk, think, thunk, tank. It's time for thunk tank. Hi, I'm Andreas, and I'm the youngest brother. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Eric, and I guess I'm the middle brother, but I'm standing on the left side. You're the old. Hi, brother. hi, I'm I'm He's Calvin, and me. I'm the b- brotherest in law. Yeah. There's... And hi, I'm Alex. I'm the token girl. No, that's just not, that's just, that doesn't count. You're no, our our special wrong? guest for today. I'm the magical sister. Is 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 wife and sister. Sister wife. Yes, sister that wife. definitely sounds sister good. Wife. That sounds perfectly yeah. good. And we <laughs> just achieved viewership in Alabama. So, um, oh god. <laughs> so you might be noticing uh, today that uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube. Uh, or on the Twitch live, mm. uh, that we are wow. not we are not sitting in our chairs. Um, it's sad. I have leg legs are important. <laughs> you have to use them. <laughs> and on National no Leg Day, which use. this might be, no one it might knows. be. It might be. Uh, we we refuse to sit in chairs. Uh-huh. Do a chairs crab walk. Are for losers. Walk around. Bend those knees. So, Stop sitting. Get so off. Here's get the, active. Uh, get healthy. So uh yeah okay so like I broke the chairs I broke the chair I I tried I tried to fix the chairs and make them cooler and I I broke them I'm sorry um but uh I do have something else special planned for today uh just for those of us on YouTube because it's a, these are visual gags folks on YouTube and um, Talk audio podcast and uh, audio podcast listeners go check out the YouTube if not well, there's a plenty fair, of content for you anyway there's we're a reason edit you were born with eyes. Right? And it's so that you can see their glorious faces. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I have no eyelids. Okay, so here, I'm going to go. I'm coming. I'm going to break the fourth wall here, and then you guys can come follow me. I'll tell you when. You entertain people until then. It's weird, it's oh, weird how the gosh. fourth wall is just this wall in front of us, right? That's it's, weird. In virtual reality, the fourth wall can be a literal wall. It's great. Oh, uh, God, that's jarring. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. What is happening here? Well, so it's uh, just... I guess this. Is... Oh yeah! Oh my God! It's a shorty truck and a regular truck. Are we gonna film and all an Apache, on Apache car. car? Yeah. So. Uh, oh wow! I will say the seats of this Apache car are also gonna... broken, but. <laughs> Whoa! All right, this will be good enough. Oh, Wait, does the Apache car have bro- actual seats that are broken? No, yeah. no there's no yeah. seats. There's no, there's no seats. It's nothing. just uh, it's just for uh, for your op. Whoa, it's so it's, so it's a museum. I, Don't touch. I'll you be know. honest. I feel like this is more indicative of our brand. Am I am I wrong? I feel like we should all stand in front of this. <gasps> As a proud oh, wait, supporter truck? of Team Hover Truck, I have to ask. Yeah. yeah. Where, where's Hover Truck? I know. I know. Where's the Hover hey, Truck? Why is there so, a perfectly normal truck? Instead of a hover truck. Well, I wanted to show you the contrast of what I did. I took this. Yeah, <laughs> and I I made this. Right? So how do you want us to set up for the actual so, shoot? Have you guys ever seen those uh those competitions where you gotta keep your hand on the truck to win it? Oh my god. <laughs> We're doing yeah, one of those yeah, today. Yeah. Are we doing one of those? Okay. Oh my hold god, on. I want to win this truck so I'm bad. Gonna, oh I'm my head. This, there's a there's a giant thing here. I can't be Your here. head is going right through the rearview mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, uh, I can move switch, forward. You, you move. You, uh, oh, s- my God, Andreas! Alex, she's she's not gonna uh, get Andreas, the car. get back there. I, I, Andreas you, lost the car. You come back underneath the the like mirror. You're, you're short. You're over here, over here, over here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. 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 So let me know when we're going to hard cut back into the audio-only podcast that we're trying to record here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
for, for so viewers welcome that back, all our audio talent. listeners. There was some visual shenanigans going on, but now yeah, we're yeah. back to a relatively perfectly, normal podcast. Perfectly with normal awesome podcast. Special guest. Yes, yes, I'm our awesome. special guest. Uh, Hi. Did I even this say is, my name during uh, the intro? No, you yeah. got to say Alex. <laughs> I'm. Oh yeah, I'm Calvin. Should we try this again? Let's start this over Let's again. Start New it again. Intro. Second intro. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. all right. You Ready? Do this again. Okay. Thank, thank, thunk, tank. Time for thunk, tank. Hard cut. Hard cut. Hello, I'm Andreas, and I'm the youngest brother. <clears throat> Hello, I am Calvin, and I'm the brotherest in law. Hi, I'm Eric, and today I justified my purchase of a thermal camera by fixing a refrigerator. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Like pop, potentially very cool. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Alex. I'm the guest, and I'm the oldest brother. No, you're not. I'm you're not the, the no. sister wife. I'm the no. middlest brother. I'm. But also the oldest brother. You're the oldest. You're the oldest brother. You're the oldest real brother. brother. I'm the. I'm the oldest you're fakest the outlier. brother. Outlier. Yeah. You're the one. You're the genetically non, uh, similar yeah. brother. Yeah. Wait. Which one is? Uh, Calvin, uh, Calvin is the genetically non-similar one. I would hope. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. Yeah. No, I just wasn't paying attention and I thought I we mean... might have been dropping some crazy shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Andreas, I'm sorry you were adopted. Explains <laughs> 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 why our baby pictures always looked so similar. They yeah. were the same pictures. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. We just doubled them up for... Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um... All right, so that here we are. Being a guest work. Ha, being so a guest. I think we interview you about yeah, yeah, what you're yeah. doing in life and where you are. Yeah. So how do you feel about uh, Eurovision and and your chances to win? Uh huh. Oh wait, is Eurovision up again? Oh, I think so. Not. How do I apply? I think I have like zero point two percent chance I could win. So I'm pretty sure it's all pre set up. Hmm. Um, it, it is, and it's also uh, weirdly bad most of the time. I, I would fit into that. That's like my jam. It's amazing. Weirdly bad. Also, that movie with, with Will Ferrell about Eurovision was amazing. Upsettingly good. Upsettingly yeah. good. And an oh, upsetting yeah. number of actual people who performed in Eurovision were in that movie. <laughs> really? And it was awesome. I, I, every time I was like, whoa, is that? Yeah. That's, that's that, that guy. <laughs> it's the weird <laughs> Russian fiddler guy. That, I don't think that, I've ever... No, the fiddler I... guy was Norwegian, bro. Yeah, oh, we've what? never I've seen, never never seen, seen uh, never seen any of this. I watched Face you, you don't Off. know about Eurovision? No, I don't know it's what that is even. an annual song contest that all the European nations compete in wow. yeah. to have the best new song, huh. I think. It's it's usually remarkably bad. Well, but also part of the very problem good. is the votes are population-based, so the yeah, more populous countries sort of vote for each other because you can't vote for yourself, and it's sort of weirdly political huh. and oh that's so bizarre it making music weird. political yeah. sounds dumb yeah i dumb. disagree but uh, i'd like to point out this is the year to do it because with brexit no one's probably sure if it, britain can be there so i'm not go sure for it. They can't <laughs> be brexit there? from what? eurovision i mean they, <laughs> they they're no longer part of the european union so yeah, i'm assuming no 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 that... no 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 Eurovision happened way started way before the European Union. It was just all the European countries. No fucking way. We they've been having this song competition for that long. Oh yeah. Well, fuck, man. Why can't they do other things good then? <laughs> Jesus. They do plenty of things good. I so, will forever be far more hyped about the Gaki no Tsukai New Year's punishment game. Yeah, I'm. Oh yeah. Than I, I will mean, ever seriously. be. Seriously. Eurovision. Singer people, I don't really watching care. people laugh and then get hit is the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, so wait, but but that was that didn't answer our question. They didn't answer any of the questions. Yeah, are you excited? And what do you think your chances are of winning? Uh, I mean, it's both of those, zero point two percent, and uh -huh. I, I guess, I guess okay. I'm excited. Cool. cool. Um, uh, what's the theme of your song for Eurovision? Yeah, yeah. What's your Euro theme song? Since they all have to be. Based themed around the country you're representing. I'm assuming you're representing England. Norway. I'd have to represent Norway. Okay. Um, and it would have to be about Rumagret because I fucking love Rumagret. Cool. Oh cool. man, a song about porridge. Nothing. Cream porridge. <laughs> yeah. Nothing says 
hip pop song like sour cream porridge, eh, folks? Uh, I love you, know. you like some rum and good. Uh, it's rap. It's gonna be rap. Wow, that's yeah. that could actually win Eurovision. Yeah. <laughs> you think about like, uh, a historical, cultural type element. Yeah, it's doing a weird song style. Mm, you'll you'll mm-hmm. look fun. Oh, I think you're like eighty percent of the way to winning Eurovision already. Agreed. Yeah, sweet. Um, you just down. have to enter. So, uh, I do. You've 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 seen the show before, right? You know how it works, right? The Thunk Tank or Eurovision? Just, yeah, one of those. <laughs> I've seen Thunk Tank. I haven't seen Eurovision. So okay. more popular higher. than Eurovision. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's so right. uh, I'm assuming <laughs> that you've brought um, some kind of idea. Oh, you mm-hmm. really? You want to put the guests on the spot first? Wow. I think that doesn't that seem right. It didn't bring that seems I mean, like you yeah. should start with the best, and the best should be the guests. Right. right? That's oh. why you're here oh. to, because you're the best. Yes. Um, what and... about your audience? Don't you want to string them along throughout all of your mediocre content? No, no, no. no. The best oh, really? Oh, so yeah. Uh, also, really, yeah. what I'm the best is? Truck. No, no, no. Really? Hold on, hold on. So, with the, also the best thing is, uh, is listening to other people's ideas. And improving mm. them. That is what, how it happens here on mm. the, the Thunk Tank. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I have a half-thought-up plan that I think I actually told you about at one point, Calvin. I didn't hear it. So you probably forgot about it, wrote it off, dismissed my remember. genius idea. So I am here at Thunk Tank <laughs> to pitch my cool concept, which is a um, Big Brother-esque diet program. Wait, what? You sign up. You sign up to be surveilled by dietitians, and they watch your every move, and they count your every calorie, and they evaluate your diet, and uh, and you can like check in. How many and, people and is this? See how good you're doing. What? Okay. Well, oh well, you have to buy it. You have to buy it. Yeah, yeah. But how oh. many people are watching you? Uh, at least one. At least one. Okay. One dietitian. One dietitian. Right. So mm-hmm. he, here's the thing. There's this TV show called Secret Eaters where they okay. do exactly that for two weeks. And like sh- at the end, they reveal how much food they ate in a very reality TV way of having a giant table full of food. Well, that's weird. No, yeah. no, no, no. Like, like they should they, like after you've been going with this whole Big Brother diet program uh-huh. thing for a while, they actually like you, you like get locked in your house and they yeah. send you the amount of food that you should have. Oh, lockdown prison diet. Got it. I think Weird. so. Like they see what you like That's... and what you're drawn to, and then they try to make a healthier version of that for whatever specific needs you have. If you want like muscle gain or weight loss, or if you got diabetes, you know. Okay. I don't know if you like, guys well, ever no more... talked to someone who who lifts. Um, you yeah. know people that lift, right? No, bro. I don't no. Do you even I lift, lift things bro? all the time. I've seen parodies of these kind of people, but I've I have never a talked to a real before. one. Oh yeah, it's I've all was, about the protein. No, so you gotta... some of them, some of them are all about the micronutrients. Uh-huh. Oh, micronutrients okay. are How small. Bullshit. Are we talking? I I have no idea. It's just, <laughs> I I was like, oh right, micronutrients, cool. Okay. Technically, is that a guarded word? Because technically, you could just take food and grind it into micro particles. And tiny, tiny nutrients. As micronutrients. See, she's getting the how how we do things here. That's, yeah, this dude, is that's dude, pretty solid. This so, is literally family dinners. Yeah. Virtual. <laughs> I've been doing this for my whole life. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's true. This is normal. Um, Except so, for the how, holding onto a car to win it thing. My, micro proteins is just micro proteins. <laughs> micro proteins so is just bad. tiny amounts of protein powder in tiny tablets. <laughs> Uh yeah, a new the new nutrient, the new nutrient. <laughs> oh, no. We call it like oh no, swallow cane, swallow a cane. I'm sorry. Are you trying to like are you trying to say like wh- it sounds like cocaine? Cocaine. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it sounds it's, bad it's for you. Cane. It's I just feel like we mix caffeine and micro proteins uh-huh. to give you the best lifting experience. Yeah, as long as it's um, you know, so as long as you are selling it as like not for consumption or 
Uh, you know, not like human consumption. consumption. <laughs> this, or this you know, like it's not been rated like, it, by anybody to be edible. It's, it's dietary not, supplement, and we don't make any medical claims. Right, exactly. Whatsoever. We don't know what's in it. It could be anything. Well, don't you have know to list what's, what's in it. No, you don't. Break not up. if it's uh, not under certain circumstances. You don't for food. Ooh. You totally have to list the ingredients. But there's Unless, a lot of stuff you don't. Toothpaste, Unless it's a very right? particular thing that's already like in the regulations. Of this is what that thing is. Oh, right, right, right. Oh uh, my God! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. If it's a, a a thing you apply to your body instead of consume. Okay. See. Oh, you know, there like we your go. Your skin absorbs stuff, right? Right. They have like the you get like the clothes. They make clothes that are like full of caffeine. Let's yeah. just add protein for lifters. They have like green tea right. infused socks. So, Let's just have some some yeah. protein infused like gym shorts. Jesus. <laughs> it's just a cream. No, it's I, just a cream. You oh, slather no. on your body before you go lift. Protein, like protein cream. cream. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, dude, people would buy protein cream. Oh my god, we make we need... protein cream in an icy hot kind of uh, format as oh well. Oh my god. Yeah, so and like post workout protein and, cream. And like yeah. you know, also laced with like nicotine or something. You know, oh, something nice and addictive. Caffeine, maybe. That's probably Caffeine, maybe. Regulated. Nicotine sounds like a real bad time. Why? That's, also, that's, might no. have I'm more addicted to to caffeine. That, than we'd I have am to put nicotine. health and safety warnings on it then. Yeah, you have to have. Even yeah. if it's not to for 16 year olds who want to get swole. Hmm. Yeah, and those are probably like our primary target because they don't know probably. better than to think that protein can get absorbed through your skin in mass quantities. And since there's no like calorie count on it, you know, like it's like the the healthy way to add more protein to your lifestyle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sir, you could also probably that eating it makes you huge. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so terrible. I feel we can like make we could... all kinds of claims. Okay. I feel like we could Online, also anonymously. Yeah, we could also make a bunch of these things in Mexico. Hmm. Oh, One, it's cheaper to make it there. Okay. Obviously. Yeah, and, yeah. And two, it's a. Uh, I feel like if you just don't sell it in America and like people have to kind of import it specially, they have to oh, drive oh. across the border to get it. Yeah. yeah it becomes it like it'll have a mythos. Like this stuff's so strong. It makes you so small. You can't even get it in this country. It's not right. allowed. Right. It's not even legal in the States, man. Hmm. You get so swole. What what about oh hold on, hold on. Brainstorm. What if they if we just get people you know how like with uh multi level marketing, you have just random people out of their homes selling fucking right. bullshit. And if they say crazy stuff, like that's not us saying it. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> that's true, but also uh, what we do is we just have them be sketchy. So it's Why is it emulates it the almost factors better so it emulates a drug deal yeah <laughs> right if it's illegal it must work better we don't ever say it is illegal and huh. it isn't we just make it seem <laughs> like it's a drug deal huh. our salespeople only accept cash they're, they're working in forms like i don't know a dark colored hoodie and some sunglasses and, oh my goodness rip jeans primary and... place of sales is like out on the street corners maybe in their apartment, in the back of their their shitty apartment yeah corner the corner parking lot of rite aid mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> that's amazing okay this is just, terrible you're just bumping up the uh you know the the credibility the of it yeah. Yeah. Street cred means more money. Does it? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, because like the reason that drugs are so expensive in general is because they're illegal and there's much more effort put into. Yeah. Okay, uh, this so, this okay. makes a lot I'm of gonna, sense I'm to just, me. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to go there. Okay. Which is if we're trying to go for like people who have kind of like uh, they want to get swole, all that kind of stuff. Why not just go the full all the way and just sell fake like penis enlargement creams and stuff uh i would pro with protein I would say, yeah i would say what's the difference than what we're at already selling well, we just, yeah, we just have it. to convince our salespeople to tell people that that's what it does Side you know, it doesn't say this include... on the label but if you eat it it'll make your dick enormous <laughs> i feel like you just i feel like you just are like when you go to the gym 
take three to four tablespoons of this cream and put it on your dick. Oh, no. <laughs> and then go lift weights. And it'll probably get bigger eventually. That's how that science. That's how it gets. And then you have science. all these people like with weird stains on their work shorts, workout <laughs> shorts, God, lifting man. weights. <sighs> and it'll be pretty funny. It will <sighs> tell you who to avoid at the gym. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. It's, to be fair, I feel like you, you know instinctively already. I haven't yeah. been to a gym enough, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, you just, I just, I just instinctively know, like, what people to avoid. I think generally. when when mm. someone puts down a weight and they go, <clears throat> yeah, you know, you can just avoid them. Yes. But I've done that. Sometimes no, you no, lift you've and gone, it's like, <clears throat> oh my god, it's too much. Oh. No, that's that's like relief, like it's the aggression. <laughs> you look oh, for the aggression go, in your exhale. It's like I'm lifting the weight. <sighs> so, so uh, on the uh, back to the topic of uh, Secret Eaters and other television shows, uh, mm -hmm. I think it was the show Biggest Loser where uh, they were in a competition to lose weight. Yeah, uh -huh. and the person who lost the least amount of weight was then forced to eat a bunch of cupcakes. What? That's freaking terrible. <laughs> That's mean. Which is so fucked up. That's, I'm uh, so glad I don't watch that show. That sounds awful. That's wrong. That's morally Although, wrong. Although, to be oh, fair. Yeah, yeah. Objectively wrong. Cupcakes. I, no, no, no. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, that's not the problem. That's not the that's that's definitely like, that's if it. it was the winner gets cupcakes, I'd be like, okay, that's fair. It's a weird message to send. Yeah. It is. It's extremely weird. It, it's But like, it makes sense. No, it doesn't make any then sense. Again, maybe it's horrible. A, like a psychological benefit to punishing someone who has trouble eating too much with food. Like, you uh, eat too like, much, why now food punish... is a punishment, and you don't want to eat it as why much. Why punish them with cupcakes? Why not punish them with, like, boiled liver and, nah, like, it's, it's, it's smoking. It's smoking the whole pack of cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's I like, see. oh, you want to smoke? Smoke this whole pack. Yeah. Mean to ruin cupcakes for somebody. I don't care why. Well, maybe cupcakes like are kind they of signed shady. up for it by getting yeah. on a reality TV show about losing the most weight. <sighs> like, yeah, maybe there's more healthy ways to go about strange weight loss. Well, yeah, but if you're like psychologically healthy, you generally don't go on reality TV. <laughs> That's, fair. That's fair. It's true. Oh man. Can you imagine like? Going like having a stealth spy camera inside of a weight loss reality TV show. I wonder what goes on behind the scenes that they don't talk about. I, how many Probably takes do you think stuff. they have to they have to do before the person like cries when they're like, "You have to eat cupcakes now." <laughs> like maybe they're like, "You have to eat cupcakes now." And the lady's like, All right. "I mean, okay, that doesn't sound that bad." And they're like, "Okay, you're clearly far too well adjusted. We're gonna back <laughs> this off." Let's verbally this is a bad a thing. Yeah. <laughs> please, please, we need to break down crying and eat these cupcakes. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, reality TV show is a special hell mm. that we're slowly hurtling towards. I, I mean, this, if everything's here? a reality TV show. Is this is a reality TV better? show. This One is of like... us is gonna win this truck. <laughs> yeah, that's no, right. I, I about For our that. audio oh, listeners, no, we are uh, this time in a virtual world with our hands on a truck, and the person—it's a very is, special truck. It's got a six-inch. I'm truck I am not bed. touching the truck because I built it. I already have one. Yeah, robots yeah. on giving it away. He's I'm like giving the it host. away, uh, and I will yeah. find a way to get give you this. Whoever is left, I'm gonna download this truck. Yeah, I'm yeah gonna... you wouldn't download yeah. a truck. Right? I would. <laughs> I'd upload a truck, I'll tell you that much. Oh my. You did. <laughs> you definitely did. I uploaded a, upload a few trucks. Um, um, so Eric, I had an idea. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, oh you have an idea. Oh, Perfect. Oh. I, I had an idea. Uh, but it turned out people are kind of already doing it and that it is, you know. Uh, well, what's the idea? So the idea is... Uh, laser 
headlights, but like laser projector headlights. Why? Well, because you could just like infrared see what was on the road with a camera and then use a laser projector to kind of highlight everything as you drive around. So everything would look like Tron. Oh, that sounds oh. cool. And Yeah, no, do that. And you wouldn't actually awesome. beam and light up anybody, um, like any of the oncoming cars wouldn't get, you know, they'd see a little glow you. from your laser emitter, but that's about it. They wouldn't be beaming them in the eyes. So aside mm -hmm. from the legal issues, that sounds like a great idea. We should do yeah. it. Because it would like the fact that highlight their car some... without actually beaming the drivers. I feel like someone would, would figure out a way to make laser in invisible to laser obstructions in roadways because there are things that are invisible to like certain light frequencies you know yeah but those people are a menace and should be killed uh -huh. so the yeah, other way to do yes, it, people that would like build their own speed bumps and shit yeah so nobody's doing the laser one that. exactly but people have done uh the high high powered projectors in the headlights and computer so you assisted can drive things. somewhere and then like project a movie with your headlights. I mean, yes, <laughs> like, that, but what? that's not the point. The point oh, yeah. is, as you drive, uh, it highlights the part of the road that you're going towards, and like oh. the headlights curve around that part of the road as you drive. Uh, oh wow! So if there's it like sees, an AI going tracking the road. Yeah, animals or people, it lights them up, but uh, other cars, it. Um, it puts a highlight like around them, but doesn't beam into their car. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But a laser sounds much more energy efficient. Is that wrong? Probably not. I mean, pro it's got to be a high power laser to make oh, like dis long yeah. distance light on the road. And I wait, is it making the light on the road or on your windshield? It's so you can see it, right? No, no, no. Like, it's the, a, you the laser beam it isn't out. gonna perfectly beam back to you. No, but it'll light stuff up. Will at, it? At a distance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Like, at any distance, isn't that laser going to have to be powerful enough to hurt somebody, though? I hope so. Blind some people die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why Why don't we have laser guns yet? I was promised laser guns. Um, Laser guns are hard to make because lasers don't do all that much in the way of hurting things. They They make things hot. Blind that, like, a and it, not a very a boat? not a very large Isn't distance there some, like big heckin laser cannon somewhere on are a we boat? thinking of rail guns is that the same those. thing no rail guns are know. definitely not the rail same thing aren't lasers no, no. Rail, rail everyone guns. rail guns are not lasers but they are close they're not they're not even in terms of being space have weapons art. yes in terms of they're being space weapons yeah uh, lasers yeah. are really actually pretty well they can be very good weapons against other things in space because getting rid of heat in space is super hard. Ooh. But don't Are you, you telling me laser to generate the lasers in the first place? Uh yeah, but you build systems to get rid of the that heat and then you shoot something else that doesn't have like you shoot in a spot that doesn't have heat getting rid of thingies. See. Right? And then it wrecks that thing. Makes sense. Yeah. It's a space really space is way too hot. It's a well, it doesn't have any air, and that make that's how we yeah. get rid of like most of our heat is the through convection. Yep. So yeah, cool. it makes for a really boring, long space battle though. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but space is real big, so you have plenty of time for space battles. Yeah, better for it's like like they're gonna get away or go anywhere. Uh, mass impactors is where it's at. Isn't that just bullets? Yeah, but Throwing it's bullets. Throwing whole cans of soda at them. Well, yeah, yeah, like space rocks, getting them to orbit into a different spot and bombard things. That's the that's where it's at. That's where space battles are at. Hmm. Okay, better ideas for space battles than realistic physics would pre present should probably be pretty easy, right? If you don't have to obey the laws of physics, why is it always goddamn lasers? I don't know. They look they're oh, yeah, bright and shiny. Sci-fi writers could do anything. Yeah. But it's always like lasers. Yeah. Or missiles. Yeah. Like That's there's got to be better. I'm not a writer. I don't know mm. shit, but there's got to be 
like better weapons. I would like to point out some some have tried, you know, space swords. Uh huh. Space, space swords. swords are basically, but they also had lasers. Yeah, and it, some of them. Okay, so in the most recent and worst uh, Star Wars movie, they did do a <laughs> uh, hyperspace ship into other ship. What wasn't there a movie after oh. that? I thought I was behind one. Oh wait, that one is worse. Uh, <laughs> newer. It's yeah, the newer it is, the worse. They're all so bad they've kind of blurred movie. together for me, to be honest. So I believe I didn't see the second newest yeah, one. Don't worry about that. That's okay. Yeah, I we're not worried about latest. spoilering it because it was terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. I saw the years ago. Spoiler time is like a few months and then it's not rude anymore. Yeah. No, it's um, rude forever. The <laughs> the thing is though, like to talk about media. That's a pretty great weapon idea just kind of something that you know moves faster than the speed of light to hit another thing that's a pretty cool weapon came up with something clever in dune they, they had in dune they had the the personal shields that yeah, would yeah, like yeah, prevent yeah. projectile weapons so that yeah, yeah, so yeah. They, they had to use like actual like metal knives and, and go slow cool with them so yeah they get through yeah. that was so cool slow, which is both that seven. was pretty great. That was so rad. Oh, you know what you need in space battles? You need tiny little projectiles that stick to the hulls of ships and then have their own little, um, like, propellant. Oh. Screw up their orbit and, like, like their motion. Oh, shit. Oh, rocket brilliant. Little rockets. Yes. Yeah. What if they're just... What if they're just little, you shoot out weighted, like, darts, and the darts, ha like, stick in, and they are, like, pretty long, and they have a weight on one end. So it <laughs> just makes the ship's mass is all it's weird. The center of gravity of shifts. That's hilarious. We're just turning, we're turning left at, like, two degrees. I don't know why. Oh or on, Also, like, there's no gravity in space. Well, there's, there's still, no there is still gravity. Space. Well, other, yeah, but, like... There's, there's little, like, there's very little friction. Like, if you hit a flying object with a large tub of mayonnaise, you could gunk it up pretty good. It wouldn't just slough off, would it? It would. Oh, that's true. You, you sticky, sticky, like, you like, could on... gunk up a whole ship with it, like a couple hundred yeah, gallons I think, of mayo. I think Ooh, Nickelodeon oh, style. Oh, oh, did I unplug yeah, something? Kind of. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Nickelodeon style uh, uh, sliming. Yeah, the slime. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Slime cannons. I mean, think about it. You can't fire oh. your rockets. You can't it, it outtake any fumes or whatever. You're just stuck in your ship covered by mayonnaise. That's a pretty mm. good idea. I'm I'm definitely a super future genius. <laughs> space space mayo might be a patentable idea. Yeah. Space well, mayo. I feel like. <laughs> The, we patent space the idea, weapons? though, is like Ooh. some sort of Probably. sticky gel, right? Yeah, something that oh, was like oh, adhere. oh, oh, uh, that's from what we started with here a sticky gel that is an insulator. Yes, oh, yeah, oh. there you go. Screw with heat dissipation, filled with protein. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I hear makes your spaceship uh... swole. <laughs> 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 it's oh, making no. weak stuff in the week with with micro space proteins. <laughs> Terrible. Uh cool. So that's your idea, huh? Who, who me? Space. Yeah, don't no. Yeah, you I love how lasers idea was on a car. <laughs> lasers on a car turned into mayonnaise in space. Mayonnaise on a spaceship. All right. Yeah. What's the difference between lasers on a car and mayonnaise in a spaceship? Not that much, apparently. Damn we got right. there pretty fast. <laughs> Six degrees of thunk tank. Mm hmm. What's next? Uh, What's next? So, yeah. Yep. We have more pitches. So I've got a pitch for a movie. It's a oh. sports movie. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I don't know much about sports. Uh, <laughs> sadly, I do know that this isn't technically something you're allowed to do. But uh, oh. I wanted to pitch you. So if you watch hockey, right? I don't. If you, no, but if you were to watch, if I if I did, yeah. what would you? You would notice that occasionally the the uh, goalie kind of throws the puck. 
not very far, but they they're allowed to like handle it with their they hands. They can pick it up. Like soccer yeah. rules. What? Kind of. Oh, I didn't hey. know that. I didn't know that. Right. I didn't know like, soccer rules. They're not allowed to like chuck it. They'll they'll like grab it and throw it down onto the ice or whatever the heck they do. But uh, I had a sports idea where teams doing really badly, right? They're the shittiest team in the league or whatever. Um, and the and they hire uh, a new goalie uh-huh. who's an ex uh, baseball player. Uh-huh. He's a pitcher. <laughs> oh! And their strategy becomes just just get the puck to your goal, and then and then the the pitcher hocks it into the other goal. I like That's... that. <laughs> I would also love to watch a, a professional hockey match where they replace the puck with a raw egg. That, like that would be over have, very fast. The goal doesn't count unless the egg is whole. Oh, so they're like gently nudging the egg along the ice. Yeah, these like big like don't <sighs> they sometimes like smash into each other violently and stuff? Oh yeah. Like oh, suddenly yeah. they'd have to be so tender. <laughs> oh. Hmm. What if we just started filming like high level sports in, in non sports areas, like, you know, I don't know. Storefronts with lots of pottery, or mm-hmm. you know, I, I don't know, a museums. Game in a pottery store sounds amusing to watch. I, I would watch I that. Know. I feel pottery like uh, store wouldn't like it. Yeah, I feel like rugby in an IKEA is a pretty great idea. <laughs> I think if that professional wrestling guy who tried to start a football league had actually done that successfully, that sort of thing would happen. Oh, dude, that would be interesting. Yeah, would have been awesome. I didn't know that was a thing that someone ever tried to do. That Is that the been... evil guy? I think he tried it twice. That's like not once the in evil the 90s guy. And okay. once, like, adding... just recently, and the Rona screwed. Adding it. wrestling style, like, um, like promotion and, and promotion yeah. and, and character into and a conflict. sports ball game would make me so much more likely to watch it. That's so, why wrestling works is because it has characters in conflict and it isn't just I, about who's best at throwing a ball. I've got mm-hmm. this. I've got this. This is making me have some thoughts. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. What are you uh, thinking? So I recently have been screwing around with the new stuff in VR chat that we're all streaming this from. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, broken chairs and things like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But there's really cool programming things I can do. And it's the same stuff. Do you guys remember that one of the first places we went to with those – giant mechanical arms and we could grab onto the buildings and jump across and around kind right. of like gorilla tag and that was super awesome yeah. i yeah. think i might need to make a vr chat sports ball yeah because i was thinking oh, pretty... yeah you can't do like running around and stuff inside of vr chat right because okay. everybody moves at like the same speeds and stuff but if you give everybody like uh Kind of tiny sp- pickup trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Very tiny pickup trucks. I could try to do that too. We could do that as well. Uh, I I think there's some opportunities for some sports ball shenanigans. Is what I'm saying. There's a sports mini ball. golf course in here now. Yeah, but I want to like. Chat. I want two competitive teams trying to get a ball and a goal. Competitive VR sports ball sounds great. It does sound pretty cool, and we could film it. Like it. Let me yes. pitch you on and competitive teams. golf. Competitive golf, this where one person has the hole, in like in a cu- like it's a cup they hold. Uh-huh. And another <laughs> team is trying to get one of the balls so into, the, into mix, their cup, so and they're running of, away. Oh my god! You could actually in VR chat, you could kind of do that because the cup could probably stay inside the ground, like flush with it, yeah, and just follow that character around. I imagine you could do that. Yeah. So it's like a game of tag and golf combined. Yeah. I guess you could do that. Could be fun. I I task Calvin with making these reality and wish you good luck. I think there's some really neat ideas in there. And I would definitely want to explore those. That sounds awesome. Mm. Anyone else's arm actually tired from pretending to hold on to this imaginary truck? It is. Well, good. No, I've just stationed myself where my entire arm is in the truck. So, <laughs> yeah, pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, hey, 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 get out of the truck. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Get out of the truck. No cheating. I'm going to watch Some this whole video truck. back and find out who lifted their hands off. I think uh -oh. all of That's us it about him. Have... Te you're out. I'm, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're out, Lemon. <laughs> We'll see who's um, let go of the truck the most. Maybe that's what we'll do. There, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> who has spent the most. the most total time holding the truck? <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do some calculations. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Eric, did you have any thunks this this uh, oh, um, this what, fine, what fine week? I thought that uh, seat upgrades on planes and rental car upgrades are sort of like free samples. And I was wondering if there were other industries we could like free sample people into. Huh. Wait, how are. Up oh, right. You oh. would never fly first class because right. it's expensive, but you get upgraded to first class and you're like, wow, this is really nice. Yeah. And once you the have next time you fly, you're like, you know you what? can't go back to coach. Maybe just a little extra because, you know. Like yeah. you go into a restaurant, you order a salad, and they bring you a steak as a free upgrade. <laughs> Vegans yeah. hate this marketing technique. I think the upgrade <laughs> is where to find this in most things. Like I think the like, because it, it's a it's more than a, it's like we would like you to pay more for. I guess that is what free samples are. We would we don't want you yeah. to buy this. We want you to buy this. So just have a, just a taste. That's interesting. Yeah. So they do it in car dealerships, obviously. Yeah. yeah. You show up to buy like a used Honda. Right. You know. D and they, this, they're like, well, why don't you this... drive this new Escalade? Yeah. Just give it a just give it a run around, you know? They do that also when they're like working on your car. They give you a loaner car that's newer and nicer than your car. Oh. And you can drive that around for a day Ooh. or two. Huh. Like they do that. That's how how do we sneak more free samples to people? And how do we make it about something we like, like gaming? Well, I want to point out one thing that's completely tangentially related. Uh, and that is the difference between family accounts and normal accounts. So, right. Uh-oh. Like, Ooh. things, all, all music streaming things have a family mode and a non-family mode. Like, we'll take Spotify, but most of the pay schemes are exactly the same. One person's Spotify is like, I think, $10 per mm -hmm. month. But a family account is $15 per month. The family account allows five people to have Spotify accounts. Buy one and a half, get three and a half free. Exactly. Half free. So why isn't everyone in the world just sharing these accounts? You know, I, yo, I Venmo you three bucks a month. Yeah. <laughs> and... And I'm on your family plan. Oh, because it's oh. a massive pain in the ass. Oh, mm. what about making some sort of third party site to do it for you? We automate it and then we put ads on it. Or just charge well, an extra that's not dollar. That's a bad idea. If no, it's normally it's free. $10, it's free. But, it's but we'll just. Five for 15 we can charge $5 per person and we're to paying half the price of regular. Mm. And I think free and we sell the data. More money than Spotify. Sell our the data. Is nothing. Free um, and sell the data. I mean, there are ta Microsoft is thinking about buying. They're trying to buy Discord. That's not true. So creating a I system. I hope not. That's not true. That's not true. It's not true. One person was speculating that that's what was happening. That does oh, not equate. I've been seeing like tons of people talking about. Yeah, it. they that's, are that's, because okay, that's, the, not, that's lies. That's lies. They're just pushing it. They're, don't anybody worry about that. That's probably oh, not that's happening. Why would like? And as like, much as Discord's great, fuck man, there's more important shit I need to worry like, about taking is, taking over. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, but like, what it's about is the fact that this system that has people on it and does stuff is worth money, right? Yeah. And so if you create a system that has people on it that does stuff, it can be worth money. That's true. By uh, oh, that's by a good sharing, point. That's true. Yeah, by simply finding a way for people to share and collaborate their family plans, or whatever, like you can do. Or their next raid in WoW. Mm. Which is Wait, still no. a game people still play. Apparently, how do you family share game? your raid in WoW? Yeah, can you can you get a WoW family it. account? Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I thought you yet? meant. I thought you were talking about what Discord does. No, uh, I was that, talking about a yep. service being valuable to competitors. Oh yeah. Although it definitely violates the the terms of service, I'm sure. What? It might not if we're oh. not 
directly providing the service and we're just connecting people. Well, oh, you mean like not. sharing your family account with five other people or yeah. whatever? It seems it... seems bad, but I don't know how they'd prove it, that you. Yeah, didn't that's the do that. that's the, the thing. That's the thing. Lawyer. That doesn't matter. See, it doesn't matter. Like what? Like hey, hey, don't do that. And it's like okay, yeah, but how are you going to tell if you can't enforce it? It means nothing. Well, if we're making money breaking their terms of service, they just call some lawyers and bad things happen to us. Uh, we disappear. Which is why we need a shell company to insulate us from liability. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. I think yeah those are easy to set up, I've heard. Oh, heard good yeah. things about the Cayman Islands. <laughs> this is not legal advice. We're not a legal advice podcast. We're not even Don't smart. take legal advice yeah. from the podcast. Yeah, this is a geology advice podcast, though. So invest in rocks. They, they, they stick <laughs> they've, around. They've been here Rocks. since before you were born, and they'll be here after you die. <sighs> Rocks, a solid investment. That's right. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, yes. If you didn't know, head over to thunktank.com. Uh, get we yourself merch. some merch. What are you doing not touching the truck? Oh, he's got a back thing. He's oh, my gosh. He gave up the truck for advertising. He did. He gave up the truck for an ad. What a You're corporate welcome. shill. <laughs> wow. Oh. I'm proud of you. Monetize your life, people. <sighs> Always be monetized. It's not monetized. It's not real. Mm. To be Every fair, we day also we monetizing, monetizing. The fact like that we hustling, don't profit but... off of any of our merch is is such a double edged sword. Do you actually sell it at cost? Is that what yeah. you do? I think oh, so, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. well, only so far, the only people who've bought our merch is family. So yeah, yeah. making so, a profit yeah. off that would be it's, profiting I mean, off family is evil. Look, it's stupid. Something. It's got. It, it doesn't make any sense unless you've watched this show. There's merch of this very car that we're trying to win, it's isn't there? Don't, no, no, there's not this, this car. One, yeah, uh, that, wait till next week. Yeah, next oh, week boy. there will be. <laughs> oh, I got yay. we can upgrade. Uh, oh, I'll get good. some good. Uh, we'll get some good. Uh, some good renders. glamour shots of this truck. And... Does yeah. this truck have cup holders? It doesn't have any I inside. Like... I don't think. Oh. I don't. No inside. No wonder you're giving it away for free. <laughs> it's just a shell. <laughs> some assembly required. Yeah. I feel truck like this... shells for boats. Oh my god! What truck shells for boat? Is that you to make your, your boat? What? And okay, and you look like it... you're driving a truck around the lake. And it looks lake. like you've got yeah, Brilliant. yeah, exactly. Oh and then, like, my you're driving it... Yeah, gosh. yeah. I'm a genius. <laughs> and like, if you're driving it, like towing it on the road oh to move the boat somewhere, gosh. it looks like you're towing a, a truck. And they could be like the coolest looking That's vehicles so ever. That's so upsettingly like. It's such an upsettingly good idea. <laughs> but we're never going to do it, which is what this podcast is Yeah, yeah, about. yeah. But, like, I, like, every once in a while, something comes through, and it's like, that's not even hard. That's just that's just dumb, and, like, everybody would want that. That's upsetting. <laughs> yeah. It would have to have, like, a vinyl stretchy part that actually snaps around the boat. A little flop-down wheels. <laughs> Flop down wheels. I feel like that's on the box. That's, I you want know. to make it out of fiberglass so it's like an actual structural thing. The, the okay. cast, yeah, the to... reason it's not a good idea is because there are so many different models of boat out there. Yeah. Like you'd oh, have to. Oh yeah, you'd have to like customize it. You'd have to make no. it like oh. custom car to order. It's... You know they make those car kits where it's like this is will make your shitty Geo Metro look like a really nice car. Mm, and it's like some yeah, classic yeah. car. Oh yeah. Do that, but for boats. To, into like cars. You ha if you have this particular boat, you can make it look like this truck. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, that impossible. Yeah, I want I, I want it to have like a truck bed and everything, and you get inside, yeah. and it's got like the the go faster is the uh freaking <laughs> like the gear shift gear is shifter the throttle. <laughs> Yeah, any like <laughs> big truck wheel, you know. This is all doable. I want that. Why don't we just make aquatic trucks? Yeah, they make probably those somewhere with a truck like, bed. They make aquatic cars, and why then, not trucks. And then even better, you can get one with a super tiny truck bed, like this one here. It would truck be truck nuts for boats. 
Croc Kick. Nuts for boats. <laughs> boat nuts. Boat nuts. That's just, just boat nuts. Yeah. I mean, I don't but if you call them truck nuts for boats, it has a better ring to it, I think. Is truck nuts like a term that's owned by a company? Did someone I go. The inventor is... of truck nuts has a trademark or something. Mm. But I don't know. It might be he decided to call them something civilized and everybody called them truck boat nuts. Berries. And that's not a protected. <laughs> boat berries. <laughs> boat berries. It's pretty good. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Like, are we not saying boat balls for a reason? Oh, I didn't think of that word. I didn't think okay, of that. I just, I didn't think just, of that. just wanted to make sure that wasn't. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Now what? Now well, we bring we back an pitch? old thunk tank topic that I brought up in episode three. Okay. Oh. Like, revisiting. what else can we put nuts on? Yeah. Oh, oh so we've is, already been God here. Damn it. We have oh, been here. Oh, I see. We've been down this road. It's a dark, dangerous place to go, but we've been there. Full of nuts. So I want, like, truck nuts, uh -huh. but for my VR headset. Oh, Like geez. on the back? <laughs> Do they by anywhere, your, really? By the front? Like banging Smack in Smack you in the jaw every time you turn yeah, around. Yeah, like, what am I? I? I hate everything about this that is happening right now. <laughs> I think shoe nuts is where it's at. Like little miniature little pairs of nuts. Like, each of like your hanging shoes. off your heel. Yeah, like yeah. Over the back of your shoe. Yeah, yeah. Totally yeah, makes yeah. sense. Everybody uh, standing behind you can see your shoe nuts. Like they used uh, to be spurs, right? They used to be spurs. Right. They could even have like a little, a little uh, like um, a thing that sticks up so they dangle down properly. You know? Is there is there any way in like you know how spurs like jingle jangle as you walk yeah, along? Yeah. You can make the truck. You make the, they the could have little bells jingle. inside them. <laughs> Oh, I was I was gonna say, is there any way we can make them out of some sort of rubber that kind of slaps? So it sounds oh, like weirdly squelch oh, like slap slap slappy. Welching shoe nuts. Gross. Yeah, I feel like this is you'll you will you will see this. Why is it why is it okay for it to be nuts? Why not the penis? Oh, I hate this. Uh, why we have a really make... weird body. <laughs> I want like... this to stop. <laughs> well, <laughs> please make it stop. It's not okay for trucks. It's Help. <laughs> Help me. If you invent Please truck dicks, end. it's going to be a like never-ending cycle of who can have Please. a bigger truck dick. Oh, and you're going to get these stage. giant dick yeah. trucks. Somebody's going to buy a Mack truck <sighs> and put a like, trailer-size dick yeah. on it. Like, That's talk about ruin everything. Talk then about compensating nice for something. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like to point out, this truck is, is awesome in that yeah. <laughs> it's like the least amount of compensation. Yeah. You're obviously compensating in a different direction. Oh, <laughs> yep. oh can we convince people to reverse compensate? It's like, oh yeah, no, no, I just, hope so. just fake like this is the truck you want to yeah. drive. That's why I wanted to get one of those key trucks. Do you remember the tiny trucks? Key trucks? Oh, they're oh, so yeah. great. The tiny oh, Japanese oh, trucks. Vans. Yeah. But that's why I want one of those. You know those. they're only like a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks. Right? To reverse to compensate. Well, oh, learn to repair. Turn around. It can't be that hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Become a motorhead. There's, well, there's this great little own a couple uh, wrenches and watch a YouTube video about how to fix your problem. Mm. There's this great uh, little car, and I don't remember what it's called, but it's like uh, it's a little the Robin uh, sport Reliant. car. No, it's a, it's a tiny no. sports car with gullwing doors from Japan oh. Ooh. that's just getting imported now because oh. it's like 20 years oh, old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's God. really, really small, too. Like, you barely fit in it, right? <laughs> it's so small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If, like, if you're 5'10", you have to take your shoes off yes. to drive it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it. Awesome. I've seen it. It's great. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That sounds great. Those are adorable. They're so cute, and they are, like... Both the most dangerous and and most un uncool cool car. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. So, uh, so is, are we? This. I think we're so, hitting towards the end of the. Uh, oh my god, of the, of the show has it really I mean, already been an hour? Uh, well, since we started the stream, it's been an hour. 
Ah, All right. Well, in that so case, we took a little while to get here, though. Yeah. We what did. did you guys learn today? Well, actually, hold on. Let's let's focus on Alex. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. More questions for, oh, for um, our special so, guest. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Just do a lightning round here. Lightning round. Uh, <laughs> just quick. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I would do it. So like word association. I have to say the first thing that comes. It's going to be a lot of things. You just gonna have to be quick. A lot okay. of things. So All right. Okay. Things. Okay. I'm ready. Favorite hot dog. All of the hot dogs? None of the hot dogs? Nathan's for mustard. famous. Say Nathan's famous. Na Nathan's famous hot dog. Yeah. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. <laughs> Nathan, we love you. Um, uh, just with normal hot dogs, I'll eat them all. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Nathan's. I've got them in my fridge right now. Um, yeah, they're good, actually. <laughs> I, uh, I can remember the so, them. So, what, uh, so if, if, if you were stuck on a desert island with... with uh, I don't know, a spoon and infinite amounts of food. Right. Uh, what would you do with the spoon? Eat the food. No, that's fair. If you had to describe the last three and a half months with one pop song from 2006, what song would you choose? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 2006? What the hell? What if it came out in 2006? Can anybody here name a song that came out between 2001 and 2009? Oh, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. The Gorillas, I'm happy. I'm feeling oh. glad I got sunshine in a there bag. That one. I don't oh. know what year it came out in. It's a, it's a pop uh, song. Musical. I don't know what year anything happened in. Most most of the stuff by uh, uh, the, 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 the rapper. Um, you know, the rapper. I'm going to assume you mean Childish Gambino because he's the only fun one. Yeah, I, I, don't. Okay. I don't. I don't. Oh. I mean, the, uh... <laughs> the rapper. <laughs> I never like played that game, but I heard it was I... good. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know either. I just know it's a dude. He's uh, a dog with the, the raps. He's a yeah. rapping dog. It's, uh, yeah, I guess. The um, Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys were around during then. Any well, song they did. Uh, no, weren't the Beastie Boys the 90s? Uh, I, I had a Beastie Boys toy in a... Oh, in... wait. From Burger King. Okay. The, the, the Teriyaki Boys. Teriyaki They're also a great boys. band. They if are. You want, like, yeah. Okay, so that's not the point we this were asking about. This podcast is completely off look, the rails. Look. I'm sorry. It was a rapid fire question. Would you rather yes. f uh -huh. fight uh, -huh. uh a hundred uh, duck-sized horses or one horse-sized uh -huh. duck? A hundred duck-sized horses, okay. definitely. You want to fight them? Do you think you can take uh, them out? Why would you fight them? Are you cruel to animals? A horse, a what is wrong with you? It's animal cruelty. My ass. Okay. Stomping on little duck-sized duck horses. Animal duck, cruelty. Duck build, duck build the size of a horse mouth? That would F you up, fam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some serious crushing power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All um, right. What, uh, what made you uh, What made you willing to come onto our podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, why'd you make such a what, bad decision? What convinced you <laughs> to do that? You're my family, and I love you, and I'm Aww. ruining my career for you. Cool. Even Aww. though this is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, at least you didn't book. like start any scandals by saying any racist shit, so you've yeah. got that going for oh, you. God, well, yeah, I should hope so. Well, to be fair, that's have you the seen bar what for YouTubers famous people. Do sometimes? <laughs> Yeah. You are and, our only guest, but you are also the most famous person that we've ever had on here. Hey, because I'm well, the first guest. Just uh, you wait. I'll, I'll, I'm sure you'll end up with some other cool people. No, at some point. probably not. We might. Maybe. We might. You no, should ask don't. your more famous friends to. Yeah, come on I've got a lot yes, of friends who are more true. famous than me. That's, that's for true. Sure. That's very true. N and nobody that's really uh, famous, though. Alex, did you learn anything today? I learned that the type of hot dogs I like are Nathan's hot dogs. <laughs> great, great, great. Uh, uh, Andreas, did you learn anything? I learned that I, even though I didn't win this truck, I still want one quite badly. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, did you learn anything? I, I learned that for some reason, even though the Apache car is way cooler than whatever this truck is yeah yeah we're doing the show in front of the less cool truck because it's cute so being cute pays off yeah i did oh. do it i did it uh in uh thunk tank yellow i don't know if you noticed Ooh, i didn't know we had an official oh. color. we do we do. Look, at the, oh. look how it matches the logo color. on his back look a look yeah. oh. see it's like uh it's nice. like straight up also 
I'm the only one still tossing the truck. Does that mean I win it? You have. Oh my gosh, Alex, you've won the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for coming on oh, Thunk yeah. Tank. Thanks for coming on Thunk Tank. This is a. Uh, what an exciting episode! I tell you, I, we've never had a prize to give away before. This has been don't don't forget our regular feature where we choose the title of our podcast. Oh, that's oh, right. Is that's that what right. You do? Oh, Sadie. What, uh, uh, win a truck. I just want to get in here real quick. Win, win, a win a truck. Win a truck. I don't know if that's is that good, good enough. Work. Oh, oh you got in the back. Why weren't truck. you in the back the whole time? Wait, I you can get know. in the back. I'm not, I have a thing that lets me move around however I want. That's fun. <laughs> physics don't get Okay, me, okay. No, okay, no, so yeah, yeah. No. We're still not ended the podcast. Hold on. We got to wait up. We're, we can do shenanigans in just a second. Um, Hold on. Okay. Um, um, uh, I mean, you had a truck theme. What was the title last time? Yeah, we don't want a second truck theme. Yeah. What, what else do so we talk I'm about? Right. I've done on. research. Space on, Mayo. On Space mayo. Okay, space mayo. No, keep going. Rub space mayo on your body for swole penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not putting that in the title. <laughs> micro micro proteins get you swole. Micro po in proteins space. get you swole in space. Micro yeah, proteins yeah, great. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that people We've click on it. that. We've got it. <laughs> uh, I've also like... got to put something with a special guest. In the do you want to check with the audience? Do you have an audience? We do. do so, have, so we're gonna end the show. Uh, I've got to play our outro thing. I got to do an outro, and then we'll uh, the we'll, we'll uh, do this it. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great. I would like to point out that bar seems weirdly, weirdly low. Weirdly. You should, you should really <laughs> fuck up more. <laughs> I might have to. Yeah. Um. <laughs> we have no indication of when this song ends. So what we do is we oh, just keep there's talking. No bubbles anymore either. Is it even started? Uh, we don't who knows? No. Know. Who knows? No way of knowing. Uh, it's all in the computer. The bubbles oh. have have gone, and I apologize for that, everyone. There's no bubbles. No more bubbles. I don't know what happened to them. Do we need to go back to the other world so you can run the exit thing. In there. Nah, this is fine. I want to try.